there's also the problem of, of energy, personal energy. You know, the tools we use, the tools of any art, basically, are the mind, the body, and the emotion. And each of those are trainable and controllable. And if I had to find one word that would describe my growth as a musician over 50 years of playing, the word would be control. Control, control, control. What I hear from all of you is, and I, I and listen, I'm telling you this right now, every crime you're committed, I commit. Okay? So I know whereof I speak. It is the tendency of youth to overplay their instruments, to put too much energy into it. Because I remember when I was young, I was very insecure about my ability to emote. So what I would do is I'd go overboard and work myself up into an emotional frenzy so that I could feel like I was emoting. Okay? But of course, I was overplaying my instrument, banging it, playing it too hard. Listen to this. These are all the things you are. One, two, three, four. We are holding back. Just the holding back in itself creates a tremendous amount of tension where you're just letting it all out. When really the thing to do is to hold it and control it. It's kind of a tantric approach to victimizing. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it gives you room. It gives you room to be dynamic. You know, if you're coming from a cool spot, you've got, you've got room to go big and wide sometimes and, and you know, make, make an effective statement that way, make something exciting happen in that sense, dynamic. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to, uh, well, one of the reasons you're not, I, I don't think you're getting your sound is because you're all blowing your instrument. And it's a natural tendency, we all do that because we all, like, you know, well, that's okay. I mean, I do too, but you've got to start with being able to control yourself. Once you can do that, you can do whatever you want to do. Yes. Interesting question on that point. Yesterday you were talking about being relaxed. And so the challenge of playing, like you're talking about restraint now, to, to play with restraint yet in a way that's relaxed so it's not translating into tension. And I, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that point, you know. As, as a young player is trying to develop their sound and trying to find you know the full range of possibility, a lot of young players are playing with too much tension, and it sounds restrained. I'll tell you what I think. What is happening is those of us who are insecure about our ability to swing will try to swing. Do you think you can swing? Yes or no? That ability, yeah. right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Then stop trying. <laughs> you either can or you can't. It's something you were born with, an ability. The thing is, don't let the swing swing you. You have to learn how to control your energy output and your energy intake. I played with bands, but I, when I joined Cannonball's band, I never played with a rhythm section so strong in my life. Basically, they beat me up for a year, six nights a week for 50 weeks until I could get as strong as, as they could. So it would come from both ends, you know, and they would get me so excited until I finally realized the, the appropriate attitude, emotional attitude towards playing. As far as I'm concerned, I've had people disagree with me because they take it to the nth degree, is a dispassionate approach to playing. I try not to get emotional about playing because I think I can swing, so I don't have to try to swing. My job is to play with a good sound, play some pretty notes, and sway like crazy and have some fun. You know, that's basically about it. You know, I don't want to get too complicated about it. So, uh, learning that, learning emotional control, mental control, and, and physical control is, is, is crucial, especially the emotional control. I think the dispassionate approach, see, you can't kill your emotions. I have to kill you to kill your emotions, right? But this is a process of, of dampening your emotional output down to the minimum amount of level it takes you to do what you want to do. It's basically a formula 
that you're only supposed to put about X amount of input into what you're doing and no more than that, only supposed to do what you need to put into it what you need to, to do to do the job. Anything in excess of that messes it up. You dig it? 